What's going on guys? What we're going to talk about today is selling on Craigslist, selling on Facebook Marketplace, and selling on some of these other apps. Because I'm in a position where I'm selling some stuff and some very interesting stuff that's come to life. Very curious stuff has come to life. Because I've been watching a lot of resale videos on YouTube. And you know, it, it's kind of funny. I, I'm a little salty. You know, I had all these videos about selling furniture and stuff and it didn't really take off. And you get some guy or some guy and his wife and they'll do a video talking about selling furniture on Facebook Marketplace or uh, couch flipping and it blows up. And I'm like, wait a minute, people weren't interested in this stuff, but then again, I have to remember we're going through a pandemic, a lot of people got laid off, and people were looking for sources of income. They were looking for ways to make money. So in my saltiness, I realized that that is at play. That is part of the deal. That is part of the landscape. Well, when the new iPhone came out, I bought several iPhones and I actually had a perfectly good iPhone 11 and literally they've been just sitting on my desk and they've been bothering me. Plus, I've been doing some stuff with the corporate vehicle. And interestingly enough, I had the grill switched out on this, the suspension switched out on this, and some other things that were done. And it was just sitting in my garage and I put the grill on there this morning. I've already had three responses. Uh, I guess I should start at the beginning. I should start at the beginning of this because essentially for me Facebook marketplace has been trash it's been nothing but trash and scammers um, I've got, I took the wheels off of this and I put on some newer wheels, fancier wheels. And I already had two pretty solid offers. Guy in Savannah, he may come up next weekend, I don't know. And another guy who wanted me to ship, which was like, you want me to take a discount and then you want me to do work because these tires, they're huge. These tires are heavy. This is not like something I can just toss, I mean, into the back of my vehicle. Because the guy was just like, hey, you know, um, UPS will wrap these tires for like $80. I actually called UPS. The girl told me $5 per tire. I was like, really? That was interesting. Um, but essentially, I got real solid offers from Facebook. I got real solid offers from Facebook. I already sold one of the iPhones this morning and I just listed this stuff on, on Craigslist yesterday. And I've had stuff listed all week on Facebook Marketplace and I granted cell phones will bring out the scammers. and th this is the scam that they're trying to run. They essentially want me to package up the phone and, well, let's start at the beginning. This is what they're doing. They're sending me a phony email from PayPal and Venmo that says, for me, for PayPal and Venmo to release the money, I need to give them a tracking number and ship the phone. And none, none of these websites work that way. <clears throat> none of them. 
And the, I've gotten that email from uh, like four people from PayPal. It's a fake email because when you go up and see who sent you the email, it doesn't come from PayPal. And there is no PayPal payment or in my PayPal account, there's no payment in my Venmo account. And that has been the whole week with Facebook Marketplace, nothing but scammers. And I've got the phones now on Craigslist and I think I cut a scammer off at the pass because I was like, you know, because she's like, I'm in Miami, I really buy your phone. And I was like, oh God. And she's like, what do you mean? And I was like, nothing but scammers. And I told her exactly what they were doing and I haven't heard from her. So literally I may have cut her off at the pass. But that has been my experience with Facebook Marketplace. And you know, because I am very, very familiar with Craigslist, and it's like second nature, because you know, I know how to take the pictures, I know how to list the ads, I know what stuff to put in there, I know what titles to put in there, and I got way better results with less hassle from Craigslist. And also with Facebook Marketplace, I have these rims up there on the Facebook Marketplace, and I've not had one offer. And also, this is something else that's funny. And this, this kind of goes back. I was trying to sell my Audi S4 on Facebook Marketplace. And I got a bunch of people who were like, is it still available? And I was like, yeah. And I would email them back and I would never hear from them again. And I actually ended up selling the Audi on um, eBay. I put it up for a dollar listing and I actually ended up selling it for $8,000 on eBay. And the guy actually uh, paid me via PayPal. And he had a shipper come pick up the car and the car went to Arizona. So what I'm trying to say here is, yes, Facebook Marketplace, offer up, all of these apps are new and they're, they're hip and they're happening, but once again, Craigslist at one point was the world's eighth most viewed website. At one point, I don't know what it is. I didn't look it up for this video. And the fact that I can put something up there as esoteric as a grill, the, the front grill and the side grills, I, I've replaced those. I was able to put that up and get an actual response. I don't know if this guy's gonna come pick him up, but I mean, you know, because I'm not even going to um, put them on a Facebook Marketplace. I'm not even about to go through that. I, I'm not even going to do it because essentially the Audi, which is, you know, the Audi S4, it was a 2004 Audi S4. It's a pretty rare car. It was in, I'm going to say not A plus condition because there was some issues with it. It had an oil leak and some other stuff, but it was, it was a car that certain group of people really like to have is certain group of people, a certain group of enthusiasts really are on this vehicle. They really like it. And, you know, and I had tricked it out. I had put a chip in it, I had lowered, I had lowered it, so it had a suspension kit on it, and yeah, it was like 100% good to go. And I, you know, I didn't even put it on Craigslist because uh, there was a special group that was a member of, and they were telling me what I could expect and that's exactly what I got. But once again, if you're selling stuff online, even though Craigslist is old, it's not the new new, 
it's not the hip thing it's not the uh, happening thing um, you should give it a try if you're selling stuff online because I'm putting up stuff right I am getting responses on like um, I got a response because I changed after suspension on this I'm probably gonna do a video about that because that was a interesting um, situation but I got a hit on the suspension because I took the suspension off of this and I bought in because essentially I lowered it I lowered it like almost three inches and that that left me parts and the springs and stuff and it was just sitting in the garage and I threw it up on Craigslist already got a hit so one of the things that you guys have got to understand is part of the reason that I'm having success is I have a marketing system I have a format I've been doing it for years and years and years and years and years so I know how to list stuff on Craigslist and then the thing with um, listing stuff on offer on Facebook marketplace um, it's very interesting like you know let me know in the comments if you've had a lot of success with selling stuff on the Facebook marketplace because there's a guy he's a bright-eyed bushy tail he's trying to turn $500 into a million and he started a service business let's talk about that I've been telling you guys for the last six seven years if you want to make money really quickly start a service business this guy started a moving haul off service business and literally made $500 his first few days mission resale guys been flipping furniture and stuff literally he started a service business with zero money zero dollars you know he had some business cards made up and he had to sign for his truck that was the outlay of his expenses and I, I've been been telling you guys this for ever I've been telling you if you want to make some instant money with no large capital outlay start a service business and this is what he did it's documented I'm probably going to put the video in the community section talking about the power of a service business because you guys there, there's some of you, you know, th this is kind of part of the new new Craigslist has been around for a while and it's like ah you can build a million dollar a year business on Craigslist right now you can build a million dollar a year business with Craigslist even though Craigslist isn't what it used to be it is still vastly effective like I put the cell phone on Craigslist last night at 9 p.m. and I sold the cell phone today at 11 a.m. and I got 1200 bucks just like that God did put me through some changes he wanted the IMEI number and some other stuff and I provided all of that and everything and we met at Verizon and then he verified and everything because it was unlocked because all my phones that I buy I buy them straight from Apple and they're unlocked I don't buy uh, a phone that is wedded to a particular carrier because if I ever get sick of Verizon I just want to be able to switch out my uh, SIM card and keep it moving but with Craigslist if you have a marketing system now I don't know like I'm not impressed with Facebook marketplace once again if you've had positive experiences you're making a lot of money put that in the comments because for me I am just I mean I don't even know if I'm gonna put anything else on Facebook marketplace because the cell phones has drawn me like eight scammers not one real offer in a week not one real offer and I put my cell phone on Craigslist last night and it's already gone 
less than 24 hours. Less than 24 hours. And I'm just sitting there like, because everyone who's getting into the resale um, business, they put up a video on YouTube. It's always with Facebook Marketplace. It's always for Facebook Marketplace. And it's like Craigslist doesn't even exist because it's not the new new. Because everyone's going for the new new, right? So I'm here to tell you today, 2021, you can build a multi million dollar business using Craigslist today. And like I said, once again, uh, I'm not impressed with Facebook Marketplace. It's been uh, everything I've put on there has been disappointing. It hasn't moved. And I throw it on Craigslist and boom, I'm getting offers literally within hours. Hours, not days, hours. And essentially, uh, you know, I get a lot of juice from scammers on, on Facebook Marketplace. Oh my God, the scamming is epic on Facebook Marketplace. But I just wanted to have this conversation with you that whatever you're doing online, you need to have a marketing system. You need to have a system. You need to have something that you can do that's repeatable, that's durable, that will work for you. And essentially, I already have a Craigslist marketing system. I already know. I already have procedures, protocols, systems, processes, whatever you want to call it, that I, you know, essentially, I'm going to move all this esoteric stuff. I mean, I put the BMW X5M grill and I got a response in about two hours after putting it up there. So I know that's going to sell. And I know the struts are going to move. And I know that um, the tires, I actually raised the price of the tires because essentially uh, the, the rims that I put on here, I spent about 10 grand for. And if I ever trade this, I don't know if I want to trade those rims because I can probably sell those rims in the future for six to 7,000. So I'm kind of on the fence about keeping the wheels because if I, if I sell the wheels, I'm keeping this minimum five, five years, maybe 10 years minimum because you know, I got to let that, 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 10,000. Well, actually, that $10,000 hits was a tax deduction because this is the corporate vehicle. I keep telling y'all, play the corporate game. You can turn liabilities into expense. You can turn liabilities into assets. And one of the things, like, like I said, you know, it, it, it was just crazy how many scammers came out for these cell phones and you know once again they're electronic so that's to be expected but i that's funny you know um i wanted to have this conversation with you because Many of the principles that I talk to you guys about selling, making money, they're old. They're not the new new. And I feel that many of you disregard these time tested working principles because they're not new. Because they're not the, the new new. And like I said, I am, I have probably sold more used stuff in a month than most of you will ever sell in your whole life. And I'm here to tell you that Craigslist and the marketing system, based upon my recent experience, is way better than Facebook Marketplace unless you're selling Weave. Or, I, don't, I don't really know. Like I said, I'm not really overly impressed with Facebook Marketplace. Um, I, I hear there's Facebook dating. I haven't even seen that. I haven't even logged into that. So I don't even know what's going on with that. Um, but if you want to make money, you need to work. You need to have a system and to help you out. I'm going to leave a link below to the, 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 the 
Craigslist marketing courses and stuff. I'm, it's going to be super cheap because, you know, people like, I'm looking for the free 99 and you get the free 99 and you still don't do nothing with it because right now I'm giving you courses. I'm giving you a money management course. I'm giving you courses to help you make more money. And a lot of folks get it and just don't actually do the work. Just don't do the work, you know? So once again, if you want to sell some stuff, if you want to move some product, go ahead, go below, get the Craigslist marketing stuff. And I'm going to put together a whole package of stuff of resale. I'm going to include the storage auction book. I'm going to include the um, Craigslist marketing stuff. All of this stuff just included because essentially if you're broke dick Danny getting into Craigslist and reselling is one of the fastest ways you can make some money. Fastest ways you can make some money without a lot of experience and without a lot of money. Literally, I watched these couch flipping dudes here on YouTube go on Craigslist and other places and get free sofas and flip them. I have been saying that for the last eight years. If you're broke, go to the free section, get the free stuff, and then sell it. I've been screaming that. And folks like, man, man, Glenda, your price of your course is too high. Glenda, the prices of your course. I'm like, but you ignore the free information that will put money in your pocket. And then you want to complain because see, you want the new, new, the new, new. And even though my course, my course is the corporate toolbox is based on corporate principles, which are hundreds of years old. It ain't the new, new, but you want it because you know, this video that I made on Savage Finance, crazy, sexy, cool. People want to make money in a cool and sexy way versus just making money. I, I don't understand if you broke, why do you care how you make the money? If you are broke, you don't have no money. You shouldn't be worried like, oh man, I gotta make this money sexy, cool. I gotta do Forex. I gotta do day trading. I gotta get on some of this GameStop, GME, all this trendy stuff, right? So the link is below for those of you who want to go ahead and get into the resale world and also do it correctly. Like I'm not saying if you, you know, if you were really hustling, you would have your same ads on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and offer up and next door. So you would be posting the same ad in various different locations if you were really hustling. Like me, I'm just getting rid of stuff around the house I don't want. So I'm not going through all of that. I'm just liquidating, getting rid of stuff. So I'm not trying to build a career, or make money that way. You know, essentially, um, I'm just flipping stuff that's just literally laying around. So that's all I got for you animals. I will see you in the next one.